Okay, hi everybody, it is me. Um, huh? You know what time it is. Game of Thrones time. I, I want to just mention one thing. Um, Mid-September, around there, I'm going to be buying a new computer. Um, it's probably going to be between two. Um, one more one than the other because the other one is really fucking expensive. Even at Best Buy, it's, it's expensive. It's expensive as all hell. Um, it's probably going to be the Dell, Dell laptop gaming computer. You know, I think. I think that's the way I'm going to go. The laser one is really expensive. I don't know if I'll be able to afford that one. Uh, but yeah, look forward to uh, something like that. Um, I can't. I can't promise that I'm going to be doing actual videos like this one. Um, can't promise that because it work on the weekdays really hard, really hard. Because you got to edit. I got to edit it and everything, and, and so on and so forth. It would be very hard to actually start editing and stuff. But moving on, Game of Thrones. Season 7, Episode 4, Spoils of War, holy fucking shit, what the fuck happened in this episode? Alright, so, we didn't get much of Cersei in this episode, unfortunately, well, yeah, probably for the best. Uh, she's just talking to the Iron Bank man, the guy from the Iron Bank, you know, you know, so he's stating to her, like, he wants, he'll support them, if we get paid. You know, Lannisters always settled their debts. Um, we got that. So that was pretty much with Cersei. The rest of the episode was just basically Winterfeld, Daenerys with Jon, and the what the fuck at the end. So, everybody knows Bran's back. Well, Arya's back too. <laughs> she shows up. She has a lot of little hunky dory kind of, you know, switcheroo with these guards, and she's able to pass them and meet with Arya, with with Sansa. Um, here's what I've noticed about the four Stark children right now. Each one of the Stark children has gone through a traumatic transformation that has completely changed them. We already know John, you know, you know John, he he died, he came back, that sort of thing. With Bran, we found, you know, he's the free-eyed raven, he can see things, he can take over animals. With Arya, she's no one. So, and with Sansa, it's like, you know, it's like, she's like, <laughs> I know Bran's my comment on this, Bres, Bres, you know, Bres boy, he was stating, uh, in Facebook, he was saying, like, like, the most normal or recognized Stark. <laughs> but yeah, it just seemed that way. I mean, there was, a, there was also a scene with Littlefinger and Bran. I found that very creepy and very strange. Bran's demeanor is very, very, very different. From when he was in that cave. With the three eye raven. Like he's completely changed. It's almost as if all the emotions that were inside of him got released out of him. And now he's like totally emotionless. And we can't really make the same 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 comment with Arya. Arya is just you know she doesn't have she's no one, you know. But both these children, both Arya and Bran, they just totally changed to the point where you say, "Wow." Um. So Bran basically, you know. He sees everything pretty much. Um, he, but it's just like he's not Bran anymore. 
It was kind of funny with the, the scene with Arya because, and Sansa because it seemed like she was going to kill people. And Bray already knew about it. He saw her. He sees everything. That whole scene with them, with the three of them, was totally bizarre. And he had a scene with Brienne and Arya fighting, which was interesting, but at the same time strange. Um, and then Littlefinger's looking on. Littlefinger's presence now is becoming very, very strange to me. And the more we go into this thing between the three Stark children with Jon not being there and Littlefinger, it gets very, very weirded out by it. But that's basically what transpired at Winterfell. Um, really nothing else happened. And, you know... Basically, you know, they all seem to understand each other to an extent... Sansa is kind of, I think, worried about Sansa Arya, um, to an extent. Now, I don't know where this plot point's going. I think nothing's going to come to fruition with this plot point until Jon comes back. <laughs> when Jon comes back to Winterfell, then things will get like, holy shit. Um, so we had that. Then we have the thing with John and Danny, and he basically shows Daenerys everything. He shows her the dragon glass, and he shows her these carvings. Carvings of the first men and the children of the forest who came. Remember those girls who were with at the cave? Children of the first men, children of the forest, and the, and the first men fought, forming together to fight the White Walkers. And this scene, to me, was illustrated very well. I thought. Um. Hurt myself. Um. I think it was illustrated very well because it was obvious in Danny Daenerys that she believed him in that instance and it seemed like she was willing she she was willing this is, it really really shocked me this part to give her dragons some of them one of them ten so he could feed the White Walkers and all she said was bend the knee um, and obviously he's, you know, he, he's still hesitant. He's still hesitant telling her, I, I can't, you know, it's, it's like, everybody tells me not to, you know, and this scene, it, after they're done with their little meeting there, showing of that, results in, uh, there's also another scene with, with, um, with John and Davos and uh, what's her face? I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, her name's a her name eludes me at the moment. Um, Cause that scene was kind of funny because she's like, "Oh, we don't have bastards." <laughs> she's funny. But anyway, um, they get bad news, obviously, about King's Landing. I mean, not King's Landing, about uh, Castle Rock. So, you know, it's, it's bad. And then she then looks at John for advice. And he gives it to her. He basically says that... That attacking the Red Keep, attacking King's Landing, you'll be no better than they are. So she makes a decision based on that information. We also get an interaction between John and Theon! Well, that's lovely. And he grabs the other. The only reason I'm not killing you right now is because you saved my sister. So I, I thought that was an intriguing scene. It's like, where's my queen? You know, where's the queen? Where's Daenerys? And that's when we get the what the fuck moment. Now, to Jonathan Velez and Brez Boy, this is what I have to say. Okay. 
I understand what you're trying to say. I under try to understand what you're trying to say with these dragons. I understand what you're trying to say with... Oh, by the way, Jamie, that scene with Jamie and the horse, come on. You're really going to complain about that scene? Face the facts. He was not going to throw that spear. It wasn't going to happen. He's saying it's unrealistic. Come on. Come on. Like, like, like seriously. <laughs> but anyway, this scene was... <laughs> I really don't know where I placed this. This, this battle scene that transpired. Basically, you have what was going on, which was basically Jamie and Bronn and the captured gold from High Garden and the captured provisions from High Garden with the Lannister army going down. It was this funny scene. Though. This guy, Dickon. <laughs> there was this guy. His name, he, uh, I think Jamie called him Rickon, but his name's really Dickon. It was it's such a funny scene <laughs> with Bronn and everything. But basically, they're going down, they're, they're, they're transporting the gold, and you know, so on and so forth. And what ends up happening, Dothraki can. The Dothraki show up and start attacking them. The Dothraki weren't the only ones showing up. Daenerys, on her black dragon, <laughs> burning people alive. And it didn't just burn the Lannister army. No, 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 no. She burned all the fucking carriages and the convoy that were coming down. All the provisions and the gold burned it all. There was this what this see this this battle scene, the reason the reason why I disagree with everyone who's a book reader is this. For me, this was an awesome scene. Because this was fantasy as it, at its finest. The first thing that came to my mind when I saw this scene with Bronn going with the, the arrow to shoot the dragon, the Hobbit. That's the first thing that came to my mind. The Hobbit and smog and everything. So it really struck home with me. But basically it's a battle scene. They're getting fucking raped. Burned alive, just burned, burned, burn. Um, and you know, Braun, the only ones who actually do anything in this sequence of events. We actually get to see Tyrion there too, which I found very strange. I guess he went with her. I don't think High Garden is basically that far away from Dragonstone, so. It wasn't really a long ride for them. Um, but basically, Tyrion's there and he sees Jamie and everything. And this pretty much results in, you know, Jamie trying to do something, Bronn's trying to help him, Bronn's trying to shoot down the dragon. That was the arrow that they were going to use against the dragons. It does hurt Cersei's black dragon. Um, Dracos, Dracarys, but, um, it's, like, not even that serious. And then people were complaining about Jamie on the horse with the spear, and he was going to, sh uh, Come on. guys, listen, I understand the gripe from book readers, but come on. But what ends on happening, more or less, was this interaction while Jamie's trying to thinking of doing this, and 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 you see Tyrion say, "Run, just leave, just run," and, and, and he's not leaving. He's going. He's like Tyrion's like, "You fucking idiot, you fucking idiot." I was like, "Yo," and then the last moment when the dragon sees Tyr uh, Jamie coming in. And about to blast him with fire, Bronn gets him into the water, and uh, he doesn't get hit. So, 
this was insanity up the wazoo with this uh, turn of events. Now, rating-wise for that last scene, listen, and then I listen for this video. Anyone who reads the book, okay. I'll say this right now. If I read the books, I'd probably say the same thing. I probably would. Maybe I'll start reading them. Get book book through books one, two, three, four, and so on and so forth. And, you know. But it's just... I can't help but feel... I, I like scenes like that. Like, like... It just reminded me so much of of, of, of of Hobbit and everything. And just fantasy. The full aspect of fantasy. Of a fantasy genre. And I enjoyed the hell out of it. So that, that's my take on it. I mean, alright, yeah, Jamie. Uh, weapons of mass destruction. Dragons are weapons of mass destruction. They're like nukes. Alright, come on. Really? Fine. Now, weapons of mass destruction, Velez and Brez. They are. But, I'm sorry. I'm not going to say, you know, to you guys, but come on. Let me enjoy this moment. Fucking book readers. <laughs> yes, I went there. Come on, man. But I'll give Brez his due. He did give it a, a fair rating. But still, I thought this battle was awesome. Uh, Rating-wise, I would probably not go give this a 10 out of 10. Because the whole episode as a whole, as a whole aside from the, the battle itself, there were some parts that were like, woo, you know, weird and strange to me. So I probably would give this a 9 out of 10. Uh, but this was a damn good episode. We got three episodes left. This is the thing that pisses me off with this show now. We're getting seven episodes, and next year, and then two years when you get six? Come on, HBO. Come on, HBO. And this episode was a fucking tease, too, because it wasn't a full hour. Bullshit. Bullshit. But, yeah, we'll see what happens next week. Uh, it seems like we're going to get John talking to Daenerys and Tyrion in the throne, in the, the where the map, that map is, that stone map, talking about Bran and that he saw the Night King and everything, so that's all gonna go down, there's a scene where Jon is confronted with the dragon, so, and it seems like Daenerys is trying to recruit the Lannister army, <laughs> good luck with that, <laughs> so this was, this was pretty crazy, I'm Bonka Night Twitch, I'll see you guys later, uh, but yeah, like I said, New computer, probably going to get in September, mid-September, so not going to be doing any live streams, like, of, you know, it's probably going to be, like, Game of Thrones is going to end too quickly, so, what I might do, though, ooh, look at Moody, maybe, maybe, I'll see you guys later.